Shaw, new for you at 10 o'clock. New maps from the U.S. Geological Survey show that areas around the Wasatch Front have a greater than 50 percent chance to see earthquakes powerful enough to damage buildings over the next century. Late last month, the USGS updated its national seismic hazard model, applying the latest science on the country's geologic and seismic activity to make maps of earthquake risks all across the 50 states. Mark Peterson, a USGS research geophysicist and the lead author of the report, says the maps are used to help engineers, scientists, and even lawmakers plan and update building codes for potential earthquakes and strong shaking. Seismologists have not been successful over the past several decades in predicting the exact time and locations of impending earthquakes prior to their occurrence. So for this purpose, we make seismic hazard models now, one of the updated maps shows the chances of damaging shaking over the next 100 years. Much of the West in red you can see here, meaning damaging shaking is almost guaranteed over the next 100 years. Zooming in on Utah, though, not any red, but the Wasatch Front, which sits along the Wasatch Fault, is orange, meaning there's a 50 to 75 percent chance of damaging shaking in the coming decades. What this means is that in the area near the Wasatch Fault, people most likely will experience some types of earthquakes that could affect the, uh, the shaking damage in their houses, their places of work, play, their schools, and other places. Time to get ready. Scientists say that doesn't necessarily mean collapsed buildings here, but the shaking could leave cracks in structures, and while not devastating, that could lead to very expensive repairs. To see the full report for yourself, you can visit the U.S. Geological Survey's website.